on open educational resources options and opportunities for consortial solutions. Um, Katya couldn't come, so I actually am doing this. She's, at Scholar she's actually from Scholars Portal. So, sorry, I don't know how to use, I'm a math person, so this is ridiculous. <coughs> What's the? Oh, okay, thanks. Right. Yeah, this yeah. one on your end, please. That's great. So basically, um, Ontario, the Ontario Council of Universities, it's located obviously in Ontario, and it leads and participates in a number of initiatives to enhance research and support libraries. Um, the major areas that they're interested in are information resources, digital infrastructure, data, maps, and um, GS portal, and they support Scholars Portal. And that's 21 university libraries in Ontario. And open access publishing. So we do, in Ontario, support um, institutional repositories, tri-agency support, hosted open access journals, but there's a growing interest in OER publishing at local libraries. Um, in the early uh, 2017, the Ontario Council of Libraries undertook a research for a white paper. We did, we're, we've been conducting an environmental scan of current activities in Ontario in the realm of open access publishing. And that was in response to strong membership interest in OER. And the working group consists of staff at OCL, um, Scholars Portal staff, and uh, university staff at various libraries, including um, Ryerson. Um, the intended distribution is for OCL directors, and it may actually have further distribution as a kit or an information um, pack, depending on the needs of the members. And it includes highlighted OCL institution projects and looks also at worldwide initiatives. Um, so we're looking sort of doing an environmental scan on what's happening in the US and Europe and various places. Um, and we sent out a survey in May 2017. It was sent to libraries, but it was also sent to us to be further for, uh, forwarded on to other OER stakeholders at the university and different departments. Um, so we all, they also were sent to various um, learning and teaching offices, etc. And uh, we're going to be doing the white paper, a primer, um, and Oakland in context analysis of the survey findings. We've only had um, 12 of the institutions, though, complete the survey so far, so we'll, um, uh, we still are soliciting more. Um, and we basically identified certain areas of expertise that are needed, um, we want to, that could be supported at a consortial level, technical knowledge, copyright expertise, instructional design, grant writing skills, um, accessibility and university design knowledge, and also hosting. And there's a number of known barriers to faculty adopting OER. People are familiar here, but awareness, discoverability, technical capabilities, concerns about quality, maintenance, and um, hopefully mentorship will help with that. And the community trends that we've noticed so far is that Ontario has few OER policies to date. Libraries are mostly involved in advocacy and promotion. OER toolkits, OER forums, and library education are cited as top needs. Many of the libraries are active on campus-wide OER groups, and most funding right now is coming from eCampus Ontario, which is an Ontario government organization. We also have a spotlight on Ryerson. Um, in the paper, um, right now, Ryerson is doing a, a building an open publishing infrastructure project based on Pressbooks um, with eCampus Ontario. We got a grant to do that, and we're working on that. We have various partners. If anyone's interested in that, you can come and talk to me. And we still more, need more information. So if you want to check out our questions, I'm running out of time, but how many OERs are being created at institutions? That can often be hard to track. How many OERs are being adopted for class use across higher education? What groups are supporting the creation of OER? We're finding at our institution, for instance, it's across the spectrum. It's not only libraries. It's only one small part. Um, is there collaboration? What is the role of academic libraries? Is it opportunity for library environment? And what do you think are the likely and unlikely partners of OER? are in academic institutions, because there was no consistency on who were the key players at each different institution. So 